Okay, the next other additional function that we provide is uh, something that I would like to share in this video is the relaxation period. How AutoCount handles the relaxation period. So uh, in my earliest video, I've shown that uh, when you enable the e-invoice at tools option, country and tax e-invoice, there is a relaxation period date over here. So what does this mean? This means that Whenever your document, your invoices, your credit note, your debit note is before this date, okay, we will somehow put it a flag like to force it to do consolidate. Okay, so where can you see this is in your sales invoice. Let's say I click on the new. Okay, under this edit tab, editor, you can see there is a flag. A, a checkbox over here, consolidated e-invoice. So uh, I'll show you how does it change. Let's say uh, the date is 08082024. You will realize that this checkbox will be automatically ticked. So what does that mean? This means that this invoice, regardless of do you have any T number, uh, it will be submitted as a consolidated e-invoice. It will not submit the e-invoice individually. So for example, now I create this, uh, let's say, a service and I save, approve. You will realize it will save and there's no e-invoice status over here. Right? So this transaction will then later be captured into your consolidated function and calculate and submit as consolidated e-invoice. So another, uh, again, let me show you. Uh, so if let's say this is currently unchecked because now is November, November is uh, later than the date that we set just now, which is uh, 30th of September, right? So uh, if let's say if I change it to September, you will see this checkbox will be automatically ticked. If I change it to October, it will not be ticked. So uh, this is a very important date that you need to preset. So uh, you can, uh, how do I say, put it this, uh, means that how easily can you operate with our invoice, when to do consolidate and when not to. Uh, so the relaxation period, uh, it's also flexible for you to practice when do you want to stop. But of course, according to the guideline, the maximum relaxation period you can have is only six months. So this is uh, how you should uh, actually uh, play around if you want to manipulate the dates of the relaxation period. All right, and that's all for this video.